Hey, what's up everybody? So in this video, we are going to get MongoDB set up with our C9.io workspace. So you may have seen this thread right here on the Web Developer Bootcamp Q&A. Basically, it's a ton of instructions and then a bunch of people trying it, having difficulties, and us working through it, getting it working. So these instructions uh, are still the right ones to use, but it can be kind of difficult to follow. There's a lot of stuff going on here. So first and foremost, let me make it clear that we are using C9.io, the original C9. We're not using the AWS version. Okay, so first things first, if for whatever reason you are running an older version of Mongo and you have a Mongo daemon up, up and running, make sure that you turn it off first. So I have a new terminal here, and if there were any other MongoD processes running, I would just want to run uh, kill all MongoD. So no process found, that means there's not anything running. So if you have a pre-existing version of MongoDB that you need to first uninstall, we can check with mongo dash dash version. And I have 3.6.1, so we want to get rid of that, especially if you have an older version before 3.6, like 3.4 or 3.5, etc definitely want to get rid of that. Any version 2's you want to get rid of those. So the command is this sudo app-get purge-y mongodb-org asterisk. Okay, And I'll put all of the commands down into the description of this video so you can just copy and paste them from there. So this is going to uninstall all the pre-existing files for the current version of Mongo that I have installed. If you're starting fresh and you don't have any Mongo at all you can skip this step. All right, so now it's finished. If we run mongo dash dash version, it says there's no such thing as user bin mongo. And you may see some errors and things like that from the previous command. You can ignore that as long as you run mongo dash dash version and it tells you that there's no mongo installed, then you're ready for the next step. So the next step is basically all these commands. We'll do them one at a time. You'll notice that on my white screen here, it is kind of difficult to see the gray text. So make sure you copy this entire line. And of course, if you're copying it from the description, it'll probably be a lot easier to see. So I'm going to clear this out. And this new command, I'm not going to read it off. It's pretty long. So once this is done, we'll go back and get the next line. And run that command. That one goes really quick. Scroll back over. Now we're going to update all of our apt-get packages. So we'll give that a moment and let it update. Okay, so it's done updating. Now the last command is the command that actually installs the new version of MongoDB. So we're going to paste it in, clear this out. Here's the command sudo apt-get install-y mongodb-org. And we'll let that install. All right, so it's done installing. There are some errors down here. Let's see if it worked. So despite the errors, whatever that is saying, don't worry about it, you can ignore it. As long as mongo dash dash version tells you that you've got MongoDB shell version 3.6.6 .6 or whatever the newest version is since the making of this video. So going back over to here, we need to create a file that we can use to run the Mongo daemon. And it's going to have some specific configuration settings for our C9.io workspace. So if you have an existing MongoD file that has the MongoD stuff from the videos that Colt made, then you'll want to run the rm-rf mongod in the directory where that file is, probably root. So I will cd into root. You just type cd and it takes you to this little uh, tilde or squiggly thing ls there's that mongod file so if I cat mongod it's got the right settings for me uh, there's some older stuff that you put inside there that Colt did that you would not want it's a little more verbose in any event just for the sake of showing you what you'll do in that instance I'll run rm-rf mongod it deleted it so if I ls it's gone and now what I want to do is create a new one so I'll copy the second line and this says echo and then inside of a string it's mongod space dash dash db path is equal to data 
space dash dash no journal. So basically it's just saying run the Mongo daemon, but look for a directory called data in the directory that we're in. You can see it right there and store all the databases that are created while we're running the Mongo shell or we're running an application that connects to MongoDB inside of that data directory. So that's where we're going to store all of our databases. And then no journal, just make sure we don't use journaling, which just keeps our file sizes a lot smaller and saves space on C9. We only get a couple gigs of space, so that really is going to help us out in the long run. And then we just pipe that into a file called MongoD. So now if we ls, there's that file, except now it's not green. And that's because our permissions are not set up. So what we need to do is run this command right here. It's chmod a plus x mongod. And now if you ls, it's green. And then data should already be there if for whatever reason you didn't have a data directory. So I'll delete the existing one. Just do a mkdir, let's say mkdir data and an ls, so there's your data directory. And now to make sure everything's running, just do a dot forward slash, that means in the current directory that we're in, mongod. And the reason we do a dot forward slash is because mongod is actually a command. That's why we plugged it into that text file, mongod dash dash db path data, yada yada, because we're running the mongo daemon but with some configuration stuff. So it's essentially the same, by the way this worked, I'll go ahead and close out of it with control C. It's essentially the same as saying mongod space dash dash and then saying db path is equal to data and then dash dash no journal every single time. You could do this from any folder you want. Just run it like that and it'll start it. But basically we don't want to have to worry about that so we just do a dot forward slash mongod that runs that file for us. You could also do it as a bash alias or something like that. Uh, this is just the route that Colt decided to go with, so that's the one that we're going to use. In any event, with MongoD running, you'll see that it's waiting for connections on port 27017. That means it's working. If you open up another tab for your terminal and run Mongo, it'll open it up, and then you can do you know show DBs, use DB, create you know all that stuff. So these warnings here, and then also here are irrelevant to this course, so you can ignore them. There's no reason trying to fix them or anything like that. Basically everything that you're seeing here can be ignored. Just know that it's working properly and you're good to go. So when you want to exit this, control C to get out of the Mongo shell, and then control C to shut down the Mongo daemon. And that is pretty much it. I don't think there's anything else that needs to be covered. All the uh, code that I just used is going to be in the description below. And of course, if you have any questions, just ask them in the comments. And I'll link to this thread also because there's a ton of comments in here. And if you read through it, you can kind of see the different issues that people were having. And that may be something you run into. And so you'll see a solution right offhand. So that's it for setting up MongoDB inside of your C9.io workspace. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you in the next video.